Hello, my name is Clinton Gray. Today we're going to cover creating a route or track in Garmin Basecamp and transferring it or uploading it to your Garmin GPS. Right, let's crack on. Let's open your Basecamp. Right, a couple of things before we start. When you, when you open Basecamp, Basecamp opens up in a very basic uh, global map. So if you click on Maps, you'll notice Global Map. And obviously, if you haven't connected your GPS, there will be there will be no other maps available. But once you connect your GPS, whatever is on your GPS on your system, whatever mapping system is there, becomes available for Basecamp. So, for example, now keep an eye on the detail in your maps, and we'll select Topo Maps version three. So, obviously, now a lot more detail is available okay so that's just a hint and uh, I'm sure it's going to help you out next let's create a very simple uh, route using two waypoints and this is by far the quickest way of creating a route so let's let's start so we'll select the new route icon create a new list so let's just for example uh, route one okay click OK now this is a, the most simplest version of of creating a route so what you'll do is you'll go up here and create a waypoint you'll select uh, your start point so for example we'll set it here that waypoint becomes available in this section here so what you'll do is select that and drag it to your as your start point and you'll do the same for the end just move this out of the way again you already in the in the waypoint selector we'll select this point just for it for this example it'll become available and you'll select that and click it to there all right and very simply you click go Basecamp then creates a route it gives you all the all the details you're not going to, if, if however you want to change, you want to travel in the opposite direction, you can click invert. We're not going to do that. And similarly, if you want to create a track, you can do the same thing there. You can create a track, but we won't do that. You have the option to change the color, but for now we'll leave it as magenta. And also the profile you can select. And each one of these has default settings. But for now we'll leave it, leave it where it is. Close it down, and there is your route. All right, so basically select it. It's a, okay. It's selected. All right, you can now basically send it to your device. Now here you have the option. You can either send root one, which will be the folder, or alternatively you can send the selection, which is obviously your root you've just created. You can send that. Select the internal memory. Click OK. If we look down here, it's sending it to the internal storage. And as I said in the previous tutorial, guys, it's worth going out before you go off and get ready to go ride. Just switch on your GPS and check that it's there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to I'm going to show you a different way of doing the same type of task, but in this point, you're actually going to tell the base camp where you want to be traveling. So if we create a route, we'll put this here, we select a start point. Okay. Now you can zoom in using your center mouse button and we click here. Alright, we want to change direction. So we want to go to let's say we want to go to the right. And we're going to use this track here. Okay, so basically right click okay that's that's exactly the process and what you can do is you select it okay you can rename it and you can change that to root 2 select root 2 and again following the same principle you can then send to device, you choose send selection, and basically as we did before, you click on that, 
or select where you want to save it to on your unit click OK and there you go it sends it to you so hopefully this has been useful you guys again as I said before uh, if you've got any suggestions if you like the video like it uh, subscribe and don't forget to tag the bell and if you've got any comments or you'd like to have other tutorials then go ahead and just in the show notes or the comments uh, just leave a leave your suggestions and I really appreciate that thank you very much and we'll see you in the next tutorial